Okay, so I know we're really late, but we had ranch work to do. Um, so we're, this is season seven, episode three, wrestling with adoption. Are you going to... Play on the internet, yeah. Okay. So uh, the big episodes this this time, uh, Madison's going to join the LDS church, the traditional, like what, when people say Mormon, what they think of as the LDS church. The non-multiple wives one? Yes. The non-fundamental. And no black people. No. Oh, no, they changed that in 1981. John? Go on. Um, and a wrestling tournament, and we're continuing on with his adoption. Are you okay, doggy? My dog's upset. Uh, so Mary talks to Robin's kids about the divorce and cries. But, so I, I, one of the things I don't like is that they, they tell us, oh, this is just a legal restructure in the family, and then they make it this huge deal. Like, I don't want anyone there, and we can't talk about this, and oh no, she said this first, and... You know, Mary's crying, and I just feel like they're just lying to us. I mean, well, like, the the women were like, yeah, we need to make a big deal, and they weren't, and then and they he were, was, and, and then he, he wasn't. wasn't. And, um, and basically, I think this is the case of them trying to convince us it's no big deal, but we all know that legally it's a big deal. Robin's now legally his only wife. Um, I don't know how much that affects other stuff, but anyway. Then they go and they cut Solomon's hair, and they promise to have another baby with Robin. Um, then we go to see Hunter for the state wrestling tournament, which is awesome, except it was all about Cody. It was all about Cody wrestling 20 years ago and how he's really into wrestling. Everything's all about Cody. I know, but it's like annoying because the one thing that people do like are the kids. I mean, you know, I genuinely wish them all the best. I, you know, um, and I think that when children under 18 are on reality shows, it's the parents' responsibility to really, you know... Anyway, this is a big moment for him, and it was all about Cody, and I don't really care about Cody's interests. And then they go into this whole thing about how Cody does more stuff with the guys and the girls, and, you know, they're like, and Logan's like, well, that's just a normal family. And I'm like, Logan, it's not, I mean, yes, I'm sure there's plenty of families that are like that, but there's a lot of families where the fathers and daughters are really close and do a lot of stuff together. I consider my father and I to be as close as he is with any of the kids, but I, probably closer than my brother is. Uh, John's closer to my dad than my brother is. I shouldn't say that in case my... Too late. Too late! <laughs> no, but the point is to say that, like, oh, fathers don't invest emotionally in their daughters is a bunch of bullcrap. Because that is... If Cody has a problem with girls, then that is really their family. And that's sad. Like, when the girls are saying, yeah, we really wish we could spend more time with dad, but he's always hanging out with the boys, doesn't have time for us, that's sad. Um... And I guess now he's like, I want to spend more time with the girls. And you're like, I, I like five of the girls are moving out. So a little, little late now, um, Madison gets baptized in the LDS church. And they're explaining to the kids what that means that, you know, because um, they're like, I was, she already baptized, but she was baptized in their fundamental church. And now she's changing. And in real time, she just got engaged. And I wish her all the best. I've always liked, I've always liked Maddie. And they're trying to do this adoption. And there's this big question mark over the adoption. Because legally you can't just adopt some, you can't just adopt kids when their father is in their life. And and she's saying that he's not in their life. But I know that I think it was Christmas 2014, they had to move Christmas because the kids were with their biological father. Um, and I guess he's somehow related to Warren Jeffs, who was um like a, a oh yeah he's a nice one huh right so anyway and so people like are alluding like oh he's a bad guy i don't know anything about him it's just really weird and clearly they're not telling us something there's a reason why they think that they can do this adoption and i i'm guessing that they're going to say if you let us adopt the kids we won't take you to court for back child support or something <clears throat> i don't know but you know it's kind of like i don't quite get doing a reality show and then like, leaving a bunch of stuff hidden. I'm sure the internet has the answer. Well, you know, and I read some, I read some blogs about that, and they, um, uh, they weren't real clear. They said he's not really on the internet at all. Like, they could find one picture of him that they think might be from high school. He doesn't have Facebook. He doesn't have this and that. So, I don't know. Maybe people, and then someone was like, well, if you knew him, you wouldn't be defending his legal rights. And I'm like, well, I don't know him. But, you know, if I, I also don't agree with parents trying to remove uh, 
a biological father or I guess a stepfather if they're close. I mean, any kind of parent from a relationship with a child because they have a problem with it. And in lack of other evidence, that's what it appears to be. Um, that if, if something happened to Robin, they want the kids to stay with their family rather than go with their biological family. And I don't know what that means because they're being vague about it. Anyway, they're going to try to do the adoption in Nevada. And Robin's really... It does seem like Robin does care about the kids not being traumatized. But the whole thing is so weird. Like, I know it's like it might be private. But if you go on reality TV and you bring up this topic and you're, you know, like... She's saying she wants to protect the kids, but she's putting all this information out about their father on TV. And they watched the show as a family. So I'm kind of a little like, uh. Anyway, that's the episode. It's Wrestling with Adoption, Season 7, Episode 2.